All right, let's look into the mail bag, the email bag, if you will. I printed one out earlier this afternoon, and this is a classic. This uh, comes to us from Dive Man in California. And Dive Man wants to know, how do you do an artificial harmonic? And uh, artificial harmonics, uh, I get that question so much that it's comical almost. So we're going to address it and get it out of the way on this very first show. The way to do an artificial harmonic is to take the pick, you hit the string, and what you want to do is when the string bounces off into the pick, you should hit the side of your thumb. So you want to get that thumb right there on the side of the string. So you see? You hear all those high-pitched notes. That's the artificial harmonic. Now, it has a lot to do with when uh, your hand, uh, where it's lined up here, uh, horizontal. <laughs> And, uh, and a little trick to making this work is also to point the pick a little bit more down. That way you have more surface, uh, more of the side of your thumb here to actually hit the string. And just so you know, artificial harmonics are also known as pinch harmonics. So experiment with that, see if you can pull it off. And if you didn't get it, just pull the little slider back on your QuickTime video here. Rewind it and watch that again, and I think you'll nail it. So artificial harmonics, tear them up. All right, there's the excerpt from the solo Goodbye to Romance, Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes, that we're going to be using. And we're using this solo today because it's got hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, and vibrato. And I'm going to teach it to you pretty quickly today. And then what you can do is you can go back and download the Guitar Vision Player and download the file and learn the whole solo. Uh, but I want to show you how all those techniques would be incorporated into a solo. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start first finger, 12th fret on the uh, fifth string, and we're going to hammer on the 14th fret. And then fourth string, 12 hammer to 14. Back to 12 with vibrato. Okay, sounds like this. Then we're going to go 14th fret, 4th string, slide to 16th to our first finger on the 14th fret, 3rd string. 15 pull off to 14 on the 1st string, to 17 on the 2nd string. Then we kind of glist the pick across strings 3 and 2, kind of in a raking fashion, or we just, we don't push down strings, we just kind of click them, and then hit our uh, 14th fret on the 1st string, to our 2nd finger, 15th fret, Pull off to 14. 17th fret, 2nd string. Back to 14th fret, 1st. 17th fret, 2nd. 15th fret, 2nd. 14th fret, 2nd. Then we go to 17th fret, 2nd string. Bend up a full step. 1st finger to the 14th fret, 1st string. Back to 17th fret, 2nd string with my rod. Like this. We have a little bit of a run right here. This is where we're going to go uh, 14th fret, first string to 15, and then 17 pull off to 15, pull off to 14, all on the first string. 17 on the second, back to 14 on the first. 17 pull off to 15, pull off to 14 on the second string. And then 18 pull off to 16, pull off to 14, hammer to 16 on the third. It sounds like this slow. Then 14, hammer to 15, pull off to 14 on the second string. To hammer on the 17, all on the second string. So that's 14, hammer to 15, pull off to 14, hammer to 17, all on the second string. So like this. Then we go into trills. Trills are a series of, of fast hammer on to pull offs, like we talked about in the technique. So what we're going to do here is 14 hammer to 15. We'll do that, say, uh, let's do it twice in a row. Then four, uh, 15 hammer to 17 on the first string. 17 hammer to 19. And then 19 hammer to 21, just one time. And then 21, bend up a half step. Come back down and pull off to 19. Back to, let's see. Back to 21. Hit 19. To 22 on the second string. It sounds like this. Oops. 
back to 19. And then 21, bend up a half step. Come down, hold it, I brought it slow. Sounds like this, that whole trill section is slow. And the whole solo slow. And there you have it. It's a great little excerpt. Now, I realize this is a pretty advanced solo, so if you can't play up to speed, don't worry about it. The ideal thing here is that you're learning hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, and vibrato. You put it all together in the context of a solo, and you can see how somebody that tore it up, like Randy Rhodes, uh, applied it to his own solos. So learn it slow, learn it accurately, and then build up the tempo. That'd be a great way to approach it. Now, let's do this. Let's take a look on the animated fretboard on Guitar Vision's player and see what it looks like. All right, here you see the same solo on the Guitar Vision player. And notice, you can see the fingers also. It tells you what fingers to use. You can see the hammer-ons with the yellow arches connecting them. You see the notes slide from one fret to another. You see the string bend when there's a bend. You see the vibrato of the string going back and forth. And keep in mind that when you download the Guitar Vision player and you uh, purchase the, the song file, you get the entire solo. And uh, you can, you know, slow it down, speed it up. You can do all the different angles and all the things that we talked about in the About Guitar Vision. So you're going to want to learn this whole solo. It's a great solo. Be sure and check it out. And uh, until next time, enjoy it. All right. Thanks so much for joining me on the Ultimate Guitar Show today. I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And equally as important, I hope you guys are inspired to go pick up your guitars and practice and uh, become better guitar players because the world can always use better musicians. And uh, if you have questions or comments about today's show or any show that you'd like to see in the future, feel free to email me. You can do so at taskforce at markseal.com. And keep in mind, I, I, I generally can't respond to all your emails, but I do read them all. So you go ahead and send it. Just don't maybe don't expect a response back anytime soon. <laughs> I get tons of emails. But uh, also, if you want to check out any of the products that I have for sale, you can go to markseal.com. I've got a bunch of Prepare to Shred CDs, which are background tracks to practice to as well as I have my own instrumental albums that you may dig uh, musically. So you can check that out. And if you've not already done so, download the Guitar Vision player and, uh, and check out the demo. I, I made a demo in there for you guys to practice to as well. It's a, kind of a cool riff you can play around with. And basically from the Guitar School Network and the Ultimate Guitar Show, I thank you for being a part of us and uh, making this a part of your day. We'll see you next time. Peace.